something happens in mysterious ways. It seems like something's not happening. And then all of a sudden, a man, a woman, a child finds that place inside of them with a natural tendency to behold and good is. They find the strength to face the pain, to grow. Hi, I'm Taya Sepanuk. I'm founder and artistic director of Theater of Witness. Hold on to memory. See what tomorrow brings. Theater of Witness is a form of performance in which the true stories of those who haven't been heard in society are told by the people themselves as a way for audiences to bear witness to issues of suffering, transformation, and peace. No more to the military who were trying to kill my husband in El Salvador, who put out a death threat on him and searched for him with rifles and guns. The performers share their own stories after meeting with me first on deep one-on-one -on -one interviews. Then I script their words into a full-length theater piece using music. I'm 39 years old <laughs> and I still film and visual imagery and we perform it for audiences as a way for people to bear witness to the human condition who am i i'm a palestinian woman struggling to name my identity with the dignity and honor that it deserves in a world that doesn't want to see or hear i'm a woman who's grown up under occupation, decade after decade. I've grown up resisting the enemy. I've grown up being the enemy in a land where life is cheap. They call out for her husband, ask for his pay, and they shot him right there. Come on! Right in front of her. An interpreter told my mother not to cry, not to make us out. She watched her husband got killed, and she stayed really quiet. This time, they chained Patsy to a van, loaded with 1,000 pounds of explosives, and forced him to drive it to the army checkpoint at Kashkwan, where it was detonated by remote control. Five soldiers, as well as Patsy, were blown up in that explosion. Over the years, we've worked with countless brave people who have shared their own personal stories of suffering and upheaval in order to give hope for others. Some of these people have been refugees from Vietnam and Cambodia. People living in political sanctuary, men and women who have been victims of crimes, survivors of abuse, as well as prisoners and their families, bringing them together with victims and survivors of violence. Mama. been through so much. I only ask that you forgive me. I love you, girl. I know you didn't raise your son to kill anyone. I know you didn't raise your son to sell drugs. And I know you didn't raise your son to be killed. I'm sorry. Always embedded in these stories is what I call the medicine the place of transformation and healing, the blessing at the center of the wound. From 2009 to 2014, Theatre of Witness was in residence at the Playhouse in Derry, Londonderry, Northern Ireland, where we worked with ex-combatants, members of the security forces, and victims and witnesses of the Troubles. The production brought former and potential enemies together across great boundaries to explore how decades of violence and war and sectarianism affected them. August 1969, a battle of the bog said. Young people got empowered and the police overreacted. And the fight became a rite of passage for young men. The complete and utter mayhem that erupted became a call to arms for many of us. And then the army arrived. And I decided to join the IRA. Because when the time came, I knew it would. I wasn't going to stand before the forces of the state 
armed with just stones and petrol bombs. I wanted to meet them on their own terms. I became a warrior, standing at a barricade with a gun in my hand and a balaclava covering my face. The paramilitary leader had said to me, you are a dead man walking. Whether it happens to you this year or next, when it happens to you, you'll remember why. I was taught not to lie, but we weren't supposed to tell anyone that daddy was in the police. Some things are too dangerous to say. Checking under the car for bombs was a daily activity. At night, in the dark, I'd get scared. Who were these bad men who wanted to hurt my daddy? I want to reclaim the parts of me that are lost in the folds of our history. For me, for my beautiful son, Connor, for the three and a half thousand plus souls that are lost and gone, for the 50,000 of us who carry scars and wounds, for the half a million of us who suffer from post-traumatic stress, and for everybody else out there, Do you know, sometimes I feel ancient, and sometimes I feel a thousand years old. Theatre of Witness performers have demonstrated tremendous personal courage as they mine their own deepest stories and engage in deep dialogue with the other as a way to really show us the way towards peace. I am tremendously excited that we're starting a new International Theatre of Witness Academy where we're training the next generation of practitioners. These new directors will be able to take this work around the globe so that we can continue to listen to these important testimonies of peace and justice.